the Maui Intensive. How's everyone doing? Great. Show you guys a few minutes of uh, <laughs> behind the scenes footage. Um, what's I going to touch on? I want to touch on mindset of selling because we've been talking about selling a lot, but I have a feeling that you guys are kind of like shy about it. Who here has some kind of like parts of you that freak out a little bit when you hear the word selling? You got to sell. You have to promote shamelessly. That's yeah. Good. Let's do it. All right, so, I mean, the biggest thing is, how many of you guys have gone through the CrossFit Wisdom Bootcamp? Pretty much all of you? Yeah. yeah. How many of you guys have gotten value out of it? Yeah. yeah. How many of you guys have gotten results from it? Yeah, so, you've gone through it, you've gotten value, you've gotten results, do you believe in it? Yes. 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 So at that point, it's then kind of your moral and ethical duty to sell it, right? Because you have to understand that there's a bunch of stuff out there, especially in our marketplace, that is not that high quality and that you know the person isn't necessarily trying to do the best thing for the customer in going ahead and selling it to them, right? So when it comes to a reservation about selling, you have to almost look at it as I'm getting an end result from it. Me shying away from selling this thing to this other person is going to keep this other person from getting the same positive end result that I'm personally getting, right? Selfish. And in our industry, that positive end result, you really stick with it if you're willing to go through all the pains and the struggles and the you know, failures and the falling on your face. It's really, really worth it, right? Because you can build a six-figure lifestyle business, you can build a seven-figure business, multiple seven-figure business. But if you don't sell that dollar trial to someone, if you don't promote shamelessly, if you don't actually do everything in your power in order to go ahead and make the sale, well, that person who could have potentially been a seven-figure earner isn't gonna buy isn't gonna be in your world, especially with the Super Affiliate Network, isn't gonna be underneath you producing, right? So the people who make the most money in this industry are completely in line with what they're selling, they're completely okay with promoting the crap out of that thing, and they promote better than anybody else, right? I talked about Shaq earlier, he is a world-class promoter. He's world-class at putting offers in front of people over and over and over and over again, shamelessly selling the next thing, shamelessly you know, providing that solution to that person just consistently, predictably, every single day with no reservations. And that's why he makes so much money. He's extremely good, like Jason said, he's extremely good at taking whatever asset he has and just selling the crap out of that asset, leveraging the crap out of that asset, and promoting it like no other, right? So when it comes to webinars, like it's weird because you'll host a webinar and the first 45 minutes you're just like sharing value, you're sharing content, you're you know more or less just helping these people and the atmosphere is like really good and everyone's all into it. And you're asking, are you guys getting value and all this stuff? People go, yes, 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 getting value. Love you, Misha. Best stuff in the world. All these awesome comments. And then you go into the pitch and everything gets totally quiet. <laughs> no one says anything. Yeah. And that's where you have to like mentally buckle down and realize that you're trying to sell something to someone who you genuinely believe that you genuinely believe will help them. And you have to go into the buyer resistance, right? It's an interesting feeling, actually, buyer resistance, because it, you can feel it. I mean, bullets just like any other force. You can feel it coming against you, and that's when you have to go that much more hard. You have to kind of like, if you see me on webinars and I'm doing my pitch, my hands are up, I'm moving around <laughs> my chair, I'm like, you know, trying to get my energy up, because that's the way you pitch best. And when you really believe in something, when you really want to sell it, you have to be on point, you have to be speaking pretty quickly, you have to be hitting certain things mentally, you have to be hitting certain things psychologically. And I believe when I sell an offer, when I pitch over a webinar, when I promote something, when I write an email, when I do any of those things, that if the person on the other end buys it, it's in their best interest because you know we can help people. So if Dagan would not have created the most badass bonus offer in the world for Elite Marketing Pro and then sold the crap out of it, I probably wouldn't have come into the industry and millions of dollars wouldn't have been made in my business, right? right. So or I would have come to the industry with someone else's thing that had been kind of led down the wrong path and had to deal with that much more pain, that much more struggle, and that much more overwhelm than I already had to deal with, right? So understand that. It's one of those things that, I mean, when I first got started, again, like I said, I was all about providing value. I was always all about sending blog posts to my list, videos, all that stuff, and I never made any sales. And then when I got comfortable actually selling to my list was when I more or less stopped and I said, okay, for the next 30 days, I'm gonna test how this works, sending this PM message to my list 
in just a simple, you know, two sentence framework with three to five links, blast out to my list, see what happens. I'm gonna do it for 30 days, I'm gonna do it every day for 30 days, no matter what happens, no matter who complains, no matter who unsubscribes, all that stuff, right? And as a result, you know, more or less my sales doubled in that month. And at the same time, I brought people on board who really liked what I was doing. I had new customers that I actually enjoyed interacting with. And I had people who actually got involved with me and saw results, right? So it's one of those things that you never actually put yourself in a position to actually sell and bring people on. You'll never actually feel what it feels like to bring someone in then have them succeed, which is a really cool feeling. And it's probably the best feeling. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. irreplaceable in our industry. So. I want to every one of you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I couldn't, I'd be a sociopath if I didn't believe in what we do here, right? right. Yeah. If you guys take the information that we give you at Maui Intensive, and you actually run with it in your businesses and apply it, really good things happen. Yeah. Just to be real, unfortunately, still a high percentage of people who come sometimes don't do stuff, right? Because they don't take the action that they should. So everything we teach you, everything we've covered today, the webinar that we'll build out, the attractive character, really put it to use, really believe in it, and then really go out and promote the hell out of it. Because you know the more people you sell it to, it's a ripple effect, right? Think about the ebook Mike Diller wrote, you know, uh, Magnetic Sponsoring. How many people's lives that thing for him changed, considering that he brought on, you know, Ryan Finale, who built My Lead System Pro, who made, you know, 10, six, or, I don't know, 10 billionaires, I think, like, Mindset type stuff, but yeah, that's my uh, message when it comes to that. And uh, it's just one of those things you have to, you have to do, you have to experience. And when you do it, it'll be a little bit awkward at first, but you'll get comfortable with it. And as a result, it'll start to feel more natural for sure. So yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cool. All right. Who's on here with us? We got nine people on here. What's going on, guys? <laughs> How you guys doing? Should they all come to the Maui Immersion? Yes! Yeah. Are you guys getting value? Yeah! All right, guys. Talk soon. Later.